Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Splatoon 3. Now that we've done all of the extra levels here, let's go up to the next boss. The Pursuit of the Precious. Fight your way to the exit. Reading is coming from just up ahead. It's Gramps, it has to be. Stop where you are. After the treasure, you have excellent taste. But you're too delicate to claim this particular item. Don't you agree? Ah, I see. The cold shoulder routine. Guess you're pretty wicked after all. We'll have to teach some you some manners. Join me, Master Mega. Cold-blooded bandit. Shiver. Pedal to the Megalodon. Share your wisdom, Master Mega. This is really cool again. Let's try and build up special. Oh boy, you have a... Slash move. Interesting. Try, try and cover as much of the arena as possible. We might actually need to splash you. Yes. While also dodging at the same time. Watch out! It's gonna strike from below. Try and throw little buddy at you. If I can time it right, because I think that's what it wants me to do. Except I did a bad job just then. We can also use a special one that happens, probably. Nice, okay. We really need to cover up as much of this as possible. Time to feed the fish! Oh my goodness! Shark's mouth is huge! Is it weird that I want to throw something in there? Interesting, so that's why I need to actually throw something in there. Also, can I just... No. Not like that, at least. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, that worked. Let's do a head splash. Down. They're both in the open, now's your chance. Look, Shiver fell off. Good work. You're pretty tough for an appetizer. Master, I need you to really focus this time, okay? boy, Master Mega. Let's finish this. That was just a rehearsal. Now the real show starts. Okay. Oh, Whirlpool. Swell things up, way up. Okay, need to be extra careful. But let's also throw little buddy in there. That was perfect timing, apparently. Splash down. Master, get us back in the water now. Not if I can help it. Not if I can help it. Oh. Show me those pearly bites. Okay. Hit you in the middle. Let her have it. Nice, Agent 3. Also, Luffy's got glasses. Oh, come on! What's with- what is with you? Master, you had better get serious, or else! Yeah, that's more like it. Time to show you our real power. Pedal and- I mean, this minute, this time to the metal- metalodon. I don't know if I said that right, but anyway. Ah! Oh, that's not good. I need to- Take time to not die. Okay, that doesn't work like that. Now. Okay. Ink it now before it gets away. Got away. Okay. Try and cover some more of this air to put up a special some more. It's weakened, but it still has plenty of extra hit points, I think. Especially if it does that. Okay. Ready. And go. Also, we have the ability to switch bombs, apparently with the D-pad, to regular bombs, but I'm going to keep using Little Buddy. Master, get it together! Ah, oh, so close. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Stop embarrassing me, master. She's Megalodon. So good. Ow. I think that's enough of a lesson for today. But you haven't seen the last of Deep Cut. Until next time, huh? Oh no! <sighs> also, what was- Oh, this place looks amazing. This place looks absolutely amazing now that I take the time to look at it all. Look at this vault. And like it's inside of this thing. Wait, it isn't Gramps. So frustrating. Guess we'll have to take an, uh, this as a consolation prize. Three Sardinium. Oh my gosh, I forgot that the bosses also give you Sardinium. Because that's what the last boss gave us as well. It was a few Sardinium. I don't think it was three, but it was a few. It might have been three. Good work, Agent Three. I mean, we didn't find Gra Gramps, but we found another treasure that's something. It's a thing. Do you read me? Come in. Gramps is on the line. Hello, Gramps. Oh, Agent One, good to hear your voice. I'm, uh, still locked in some kind of room. Finding the exit is looking for a needle in a cor coral reef. Needle fish in a coral reef. Oh, I mean, oh, I better shout whisper. Someone's coming. Ah, you've woken from your hibernation, have you, cuttlefish? Hmph. That, uh, former Captain Cuttlefish to you, whoever you are. Who are you, anyhow? Identify yourself. Gahaha. <laughs> you're, you're lively for an old bag of... Does your species have bones? No matter. You can call me Mr. Grizz. Oh boy. Is? How any Grizz... Mr. or otherwise? No, it's go go getting so good. Gramps, are you still there? I think we lost him, but we'll find him for real if we keep tracking the signal. That's all you, Agent 3. Mr. Grizz? I have many concerns. I have many concerns. I feel a lot worse with playing Salmon Run now. But also, I don't know what's happening. Guess we'll have to find out, but let's unlock some more stuff since we can. We need five and five. We need ten more sardinium. But let's unlock some stuff since we can. Unlock curling bombs, we can use that with the deep by switching with the D-pad. Better hero shot, that's good. And unlock splat bombs, another bomb type that we can switch to with the D-pad. Although it probably depends on what gear we have and where we are. Better killing bombs. And better splat bombs. Also, I just realized that the... I just realized after all this time that the... The skill tree is actually a squid. <laughs> How did it take me this long? Like it's a sideways squid like that. Compare shape. Compare shape. How did it take me this long to realize that? I don't know. Also, we have some logs that I haven't been looking at. As life in Alterna have moved forward, one scientist discovered a new way to make uh, liquid crystals from the bodily fluids of squids. These new crystals could change color in response to faint and fleeting electrical signals emitted by living organisms. To put that in more human terms, these crystals could read minds and then output an uh, imaginary imagery that matched their viewers' innermost thoughts. Humans were enchanted with this new invention and began mass producing the crystals. Eventually they lined the walls and roof of Alterna. As the crystals absorbed the collective desires of those in Alterna, they assumed the appearance of the sky as it was seen on the surface long ago. At last, after 25 years of being confined beneath the earth, humanity could once again look up and see the sky. That's really cool. I actually really like the sky in Alterna, so I'm glad that they actually have that explanation for it. Also, I didn't read the thing. A New Sky was the title. 
Number four, humanity's final day. The years passed with prosperity. The population of Alterna grew like a rising tide. The scientists now, the elders of their kind, believed they had done all they could to advance the civilization of Alterna. They began selecting new leaders to succeed them, entertaining, entrusting them to them the world they would they helped build. Humanity's new leaders inherited both the brilliance of their predecessors and their unquenchable thirst for innovation. This new generation, born and raised in the Deep Alterna, would prove to be every bit the match of those they were to succeed. They soon grew restless at the sight of the liquid crystal sky, believing they deserved to behold the reality that existed outside the cavern. The elders who knew what awaited out awaited outside the safe haven of Alterna issued stern warnings to the brash young scientists. Nevertheless, the young scientists pressed on with their plan. The construction of a massive rocket ship to escape Alterna. Sadly, as the boosters were ignited for the first time during a launch test, tragedy struck. The energy from the rocket boosters overloaded the cavern's liquid crystals. A violent, a violent and terrible chain of reaction ensued. Without warning, the stone walls of the cavern began to shatter, raining uh, debris down upon humanity. Alterna, the last civilization of once prosperous humanity, was no more, and those who f those few who escaped the carnage would soon follow it into death. So what fell down, and how did it fall down in such a way that it took them all out? I don't know. But that's really cool. Let's go to the next site, which is site number six. I guess we could also take the other entrance to site number six as well. From site number three. Uh, but we have plenty of fish eggs or power eggs to spend cleaning up, so let's do with that. It'll be really satisfying. Oh, that's 3,000. I forgot, it's expensive here, that's why I didn't do anything here for a while. It's gonna make it interesting to try and clear up everything all at once. I mean, I might be able to do a little bit, but not a ton. Hang on. Aim just right. No, nope, that's too far. There we go. No, I missed. Come on. Throw, okay. Oh, sea scroll. I have to go get that now. Letter of appointment. Employee New Squid Beak HQ. First Splatoon adjustments. Promoted to captain with him. Uh. Um, <laughs> emoluments of pay grade 33. Craig Cuttlefish. Cool. Let's get some more stuff here. Gonna probably spend a lot of time clearing out stuff. If possible. Not from here, though. Well, so hello. Secret. More fish eggs. How did I miss? Come on. Oh, so that's over there. I might need to actually walk back across this gap. Like that, so we can clear out this group here. 1,400. It's a big area. He's found a different one. Awesome music. Why not unlock the rest of that? So that this area has a different song playing. Or well, the full song playing, that is. I've really enjoyed the music in the overworld. Especially because I get to improve it as I explore and find more stuff. Also, hang on, you found something where? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Let's grab that. More fish eggs. 1,000. It really is expensive here, but we are going through it quite well because we've been doing everything. Up to this point. More fish eggs. A food ticket. Nice. Let's hit that one. If I can. Thank you. That was weird. 
which didn't work for some reason. What's the secret there? That's pretty predictable. Ah, there's an item up there. Should probably go get that. Okay, there we go. Another decoration. I almost made it to the next area already. As long as we have enough stuff to get over there. Also, what's this place called? Echo Forest Tree Hills. Interesting. Very interesting. There seems to be a lot more levels in each world than there was in previous Splatoon story modes. Ah, uh, 3000. That was a big goop one. That was a big goop. Okay. Well, there's the entrance to the next world, which we might look at in a second. I don't think I'm going to unlock anything over there, but I might look at it. Just to see what it looks like. Is this the furthest one out? Sure feels like it. What is that in the water? I thought I saw something. That's concerning. I'm sure we'll find out when we get there. Be for better or for worse. I see a lot of sea, but hardly any land. Interesting. I wonder how long it's been like this. Oh, hey. I'm getting a whole bunch of readings from the top of that weird building over there. That's gotta be Gramps. Come on, Agent 3, let's go. Well, there's some rail rails here that we can use. But this is actually really cool. I might just quickly unlock one level so we can jump over here. You know, just quickly. And also might see if there's... Well, that's some music. I was going to see if there's Sardinium, but no. Ah, uh, let's head back, though. For the moment. Since we can just jump like that. But that world seems very ominous for some reason. I'm not sure if that's the last world, because I feel like we're going to be going to the spaceship at some point. Or the rocket, that's the one. That's what it's called. Spaceship, same thing. But yeah, this, th that area felt very ominous for some reason. Especially with the comment about the something in the water. More music? Good. Let's take a look at this viewpoint. You can see a few things in the back here. You can see a few targets as well. Actually, we can see a target right here. That's interesting. Yo, Barry C here. Hotlantis... Hottest only owner. Ha, huh, I gotta split for a bit to stock up on stock. But it's all good. How many? Yup, from Trappy Chips. Is filling in. And she knows from, uh, know this shop, uh, shop way way better than me. A so business. That's gonna keep right on booming. Cool. Also, what's this? What's this supposed to mean? I don't know, but it's interesting. Also, I like the music now. So soothing sounding. Oh, there's a thing there. I don't know how that happens. Every time. It wasn't important, but it was still there, so... Let's keep going up and keep clearing out the group. I've cleared out a lot of the group. We still have plenty of fish eggs. We might be able to get the map cleared out somewhat soon. 1,000. Surely there's a secret somewhere. Surely. No? Okay then. Surely? Why would there not be here? Oh, there he goes. There it is. Just a bit of fish eggs. Well, that's good because we're going to need to spend some more. So let's go ahead and hit that. Also, there's more of those markings on here. And a collectible. Another decoration. Can't paint that. So we're going to have to go around the other way. Somewhere. There's a lot less walls to paint here. Than previous world. Let's open that up. Let's go up this way. 
Let's hit that. Another thousand. Okay. Another level. But also... More goop. Ha! Ah! Hey, a collectible. Oh, hang on. Why am I down here? I'm supposed to be up there somewhere. I mean, I wasn't supposed to go down from this angle. Down, but I did, so... Another decoration? That's a good one. And I think with that, we might have all the goop. In this world already. Another sardinium. How many of those do we have now? Two. We need five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the group in this area. Hang on. Just scanning. Because sometimes it shows the... the group cost. But no, I think we have all of it. Cool. There might be some secrets that we haven't got though, because... reasons. Let me check the map. What's the area to site 3 isn't colored in? Because I never use that warp, I guess. Slash entrance. Just want to mark a bit of the map so we can see if there's any secrets here, which there is not. Cool. Ah, uh, but I guess I should probably go to the first level since we haven't done anything. Other than the boss so far. Trouble round every corner. Suppress enemy fire and reach the goal. Take the Hirugi, which is looking a lot better than it was before. It's a lot longer than it was before. It's got an extension on it. So we need to suppress enemy fire. Twin Octo Trooper. Let's just throw... Oh, what is happening? Oh, you're shooting around a circle. Okay. We can use little little buddy to do that. A little small fry. So let's do that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Gonna retreat for a second. So I can do this best that I'm currently doing. Take that. Take that. Okay. There are so many things. Like, so many things. Let's get rid of you. Getting a special a lot. Which is good. Not that we really need it, but we're getting it a lot. Is there anything here? Not really. Also, buddy, little buddy got defeated. How did that happen? That's surprising. Okay. Well, there we go. Let's keep moving. Couple of boxes here. Armor and special. I don't think that's the way I was supposed to use that, but it's okay. Let's just keep going. Keep painting ground. Use little buddy as a distraction. That works. That works quite well, actually. For taking out that shield at the same time as getting him and distracting him. Okay, up we go. This is a cool level design. It feels a lot longer, which is good. I feel like there's been a lot of short feeling levels in this. Okay. Almost there. But first... Hello. Goodbye. I'm glad I was there because I had- you had a shield. There's also a thing down here. There we go. Had to wait for it to go upwards though, otherwise it wouldn't do anything. Mission complete. This is definitely the best Splatoon story mode though. Like it's not like too short many, like it, it, in the previous ones there was like only like a handful of levels in each world. There's a lot more levels in each world now, like a lot more levels. And it's good, it's very good. Ah, uh, let's go to the next level. Hey, 
The upside to enemy backsides. Attack enemy backs to reach the goal. Let's go hero gear. Okay, attack enemy backsides. Oh, I see. Oh, really? That's rude. My poor little buddy. He's fine. But still. That works. There's also fish eggs inside the holes. I don't need them, but still. It's good to know that they are there. Splash down. They're trying to teach me how to distract things with small fry. I've, I've been doing that the entire game. Oh, hello. Oh, little bunny, no. Oh, he's fine. He'll respawn. <laughs> it's fine. It's also raining outside right now. It's quite loud. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. That's fine. Well, now I'm down here. That's fine. Let me just head around. Leaving not much ripple behind me. That's interesting. There's usually a lot more ripples than that. How did that miss? Tell me, how did that miss? It's fine. I'm not mad. Nice. Let's keep moving. Careful that not to have anything drop on top of me. Oh, whoa. Oh, you leave, uh, you do a... You make shockwaves, that's cool. That's actually a great way to have a different enemy, but still have it be the same enemy. And add something to it. That's actually really cool. I approve of this, Nintendo. Good job. Here comes their friend. Well, I guess I'm out of here. Save a few seconds. Less than two minutes, that's pretty good. Nice. We're getting more... What's it called? Power eggs. Uh-oh, too many snipers. Avoid enemy fire and reach the goal. Here we go, here again. And let's go. We also have different bombs that we can use now as well. Let me pull out the curling bombs. Gonna definitely help a lot using the different bombs that we have. I mean, we've unlocked them, might as well use them. The Kelling Bombs is good for making lines to swim through, which is probably good since we have Octo Snipers here to deal with. They can't stop me when I'm doing th going this, this fast. Oh, hey, look at that. I don't know where you are. I don't know why I did that then. It's fine. Don't need it that much. Oh, hello. There's also stuff below me that I missed, apparently. Also, I forgot which... Uh... Sub-weapon I'm using. That's a good thing. <laughs> Maybe. Also, where is the way up? This way. Okay, you made it to the top. Yes, I did. I'm still going. They really can't stop me. I mean, I would have spent time getting those extra power eggs, but I think I'm good. And I mean, what time was that? <laughs> it's 1 minute 41 seconds. That's really good. There weren't that many snipers. 
I kept taking them out. But anyway, I think that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Just first, let me get this. Getting some more power eggs. Don't be shy with your ink splat. Splat everywhere. Fill up your gauge. Or upgrade gauge. <laughs>